In this lecture, we talk about two important concepts in management. Um, those are authority and responsibility and how they relate to delegating work and decision making. Delegation of authority means not only giving tasks to employees, but also empowering them to make commitments for the company. That is in terms of the use of resources, how they're allocated, that sorts of things. They are allowed to take whatever actions they deem is necessary in order to carry out those tasks, including up to certain levels of limitations using resources of the company. As the business grows, so does the number and complexity of decisions that have to be made. So no one manager is able to be in a position to take care of all the decision making, and it's much more efficient in many cases to allow some individuals to make some decisions that are specific to their areas of responsibility. This delegation of authority allows uh, a freeze a manager or other managers to concentrate on larger issues and more detailed issues associated with a particular work group, a particular project or product can be delegated and accountability assigned so that person has to deliver on the outcomes. The One of the things that I learned when I my first job at AT&T uh, was that they had this policy document, which was called a schedule of authorizations, which essentially said what levels of management were responsible for what things, who could sign off for an expense voucher, who could sign off for buying a computer, those kinds of things is what is this idea of delegation of authority. In that case, it's authority to spend the business's money. There's a difference between responsibility and authority. Delegation also gives responsibility or obligations to employees to carry out assigned tasks in a manner that's satisfactory. And you can then hold them accountable for the proper execution of the assigned work. The principle of accountability means that employees who accept the assignment and the authority to carry it out are answerable to a superior for the outcome. The act of delegating of authority to a subordinate does not, however, relieve the superior of the accountability for such a delegated job. One can have the responsibility and the authority, or one can delegate the responsibility and authority. The responsibility is a delegated, but if that project is not completed, they still have accountability for getting it delivered. They're not responsible for the details, or they weren't, but they're still accountable for the outcomes. Uh, that's the difference. Good sense of what accountability is available in the organization and how it runs all the way up to the top. It's kind of the Harry Truman, the buck stops here model. It's an important concept to realize in business. It's one of the things that makes organizations effective. In the next lecture, we'll talk about centralization and decentralization.